Hey, what's up everybody? Josh here, and this is the Z2 Mini G5 workstation loaned to me by HP. And for its size, it packs some serious power. Now, while you can get one of their stock models with an Intel i5 or i7 processor, you can also opt to customize your own, and let me tell you, there are a lot of options. With the processors topping out at either an i9, 10900 or a Xeon W1290. And for this configuration, I went with an i9 and I'll post complete specs for this machine in the description below so you don't miss anything. For memory, we've maxed this baby out with 64 gigs of DDR4 3200 RAM. We have two two terabyte M.2 PCI Express Z Turbo SSDs in a RAID 0 configuration and we have both integrated and dedicated graphics on this system. The dedicated being an NVIDIA Quadro T2000 with four gigs of RAM. On the back, you have three full-size display ports and a USB-C, and for the configuration port, I opted for Thunderbolt. According to HP, you can run six displays on this thing, four natively and two by daisy chaining. Over here you got your USB-A and gigabit ethernet, and on the side you have USB-A and C, and a combo mic and headphone jack. So this thing is chock full of both power and I.O., but if you're thinking about playing the latest game titles on your time off, well, sorry, the T2000 just doesn't quite cut it. Uh, we got a pretty low score running our 3 d Mark benchmark, and our estimated FPS on Red Dead Redemption 2 was under 20. But hey, that's not what that Quadro card is for. In any case, the real story here is the size of this thing. And one of the ways they were able to squeeze all of that power into this little case was by using a power brick instead of an internal PSU. Even so, this case is still pretty packed. Which begs the question, how loud does it get? and how hot does it get under load. During our benchmark tests, it stayed pretty quiet with both fans running much quieter than my Omen gaming laptop in any case. As far as heat goes, that i9 saw temperatures around 100 Celsius, which based on other tests I've seen, has more to do with the i9 itself and less about the cooling. Probably not the best choice for this machine. Because of this thing's small size, you have a lot of mounting options. You can mount it behind compatible monitors, under a desk. You can even rack mount it because of how the cooling is positioned, which it sucks air in through the corners and out the front corners. Overall, I'm very impressed with this little machine. It's definitely not for everyone, but if you need a multi-monitor workstation with tons of mounting options, this is definitely worth a look. As always, I'll put a link to the product in the description. Anytime you purchase through one of my affiliate links, you help support the channel. And if you enjoyed this video or found it useful in any way, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future reviews or tutorials. You can also check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.